Hey everybody, Wade Steele here. Hey, I've gotten some questions from my previous YouTube videos about how do you assign your MIDI controller or your keyboard on your computer to the various scenes to trigger the scenes on and to shut them off. So here I've got my template open where I keep all my loops for my worship sets. So you're going to go to the upper right hand corner over here where it says keys and MIDI. These are your key if you want to assign keys on your computer keyboard to trigger various portions of live. Uh, this is where you're going to do it. If you have a MIDI controller and you want to con select your various MIDI parameters, controller parameters, you hit the MIDI button. You see the various areas that can be assigned to a control button or a control feature are highlighted uh, purple. So you simply select the scene that you want to trigger, and once that scene is selected, you simply hit your controller button that you want to control that, and you'll see this little box pop up that gives the MIDI information that's controlling that particular scene. The same thing goes for stop. So you come up here, select your stop button, and then hit your controller key that you want to control the stop button on Ableton Live. When you're complete, all you do is click the MIDI button again, the, the purple areas return back to normal, and make sure you go up and save your live set so those parameters are saved so the next time you open it those same parameters are there. If you're working on a different set for the next week, same process, you click on MIDI, it changes it, if you're wanting to access control from your computer keyboard, you simply hit the key button, and again, you select the scene you want to start, and you hit a key, and you'll notice, for me, I just hit the Q key. Now, Q key is now assigned to that. If I want to go to the intro, select it, and hit a key. If I want to start the verse, I select that scene, click the, the key on the keyboard I want to control it, to stop, uh, select the stop button. I hit the S key for stop, and when I'm done, bam -o. So now when I hit any one of those keys, it starts Ableton Live, or switches from one scene to the next. And then to stop, I hit the S key, and it stops it. Same, same process for MIDI. For MIDI controller, you're just using your controller to assign those inputs versus the uh, keys on a keyboard. So I hope this has helped you. If you have any more questions, drop me an email at wadesteel at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Take it easy.